A huge thanks to Brian for sponsoring this video. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. We come back to another maths video. Today, a fun one from I have no idea where, but it looks like some kind of maths Olympiad problem. I found it somewhere on Facebook, I think it gets recommended to me. And I believe it looked like fun. And actually, the solution might surprise you, at least the way to get there. It falls apart very nicely. It's a pretty magical solution. So keep watching the video for the solution. By the way, don't forget to check out my new NPC channel, NP Cooking. It's a lot of fun. Link down in the description. Now we are going to dive right in. Now, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to multiply a bunch of things out and take a look at the cubic formula. Also, the thing we are striving after to find is the sum of a and b. So we are just going to call the thing that we are looking for x for now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to substitute our x into this first equation and also multiply this part out a tiny little bit. Meaning for the first equation, 2022 is equal to x times, if we were to multiply this out, we are going to get 1 plus a plus b plus a times b. And maybe you notice something in here, namely that a plus b, which is our x, appears in this parenthesis too. Meaning what we are going to get is that 2022 is hence equal to x times x plus a b plus 1. This right here is our first equation and we are going to pin this down for now. Next up, what about a to the third power plus b to the third power? This is actually part of the cubic formula. If you are not familiar with the cubic formula yet, there are the binomial theorems, which is a plus b and then the whole thing squared, for example. But there's something similar for a plus b, but to the third power. Just as a little monomic device, you can make use of Pascal's triangle to get the solution to this multiplication out a bit faster. So Pascal's triangle is 1 and then 1, 1 and 1, 1 and so on. All the ones on the outside, 1 plus 1 is 2. This right here are the coefficients and also kind of the exponents for our regular um, binomial formula um, of the second degree. But if you expand this a little bit more, you get 3's here, meaning with Pascal's triangle, it gets the job done a bit quicker when it comes to the cubic formula here. Namely, what you are going to get out is a to the third power and over here b to the third power. Those are the outside parts. And then you are going to get 3 times a squared b plus 3 times a b squared. This is just a little device that you can use to get yourself those binomial formulas out a bit easier. You can do so to four and the fourth degree and so on. But we can make use of this part. Now we can solve this a tiny little bit for a to the third power plus b to the third power. Namely what we are going to get is that a to the third power plus b to the third power is the same as a plus b to the third power minus and then we have three a squared b minus 3ab squared. And now something magic is going to happen. And I really like this factorization and how it comes apart with our original question right here. Namely, you see that we have x being equal to a plus b. So we can substitute this into here. So for the second equation, what we are going to get that a cubed plus b cubed is the same as x cubed. And then we are going to get minus. Now take a look at that. We have 3 as a common factor. We can factor this out. What we also have as a common factor is a and also b. So we can also factor this out, a, b. Now what is going to be left once you multiply everything out once again with the parentheses? On the first part, what is going to be left is a. And on the second part, a b is going to be left, which is a plus b. And the cool thing is a plus b is the same as x once again. And all of that is equal to 1933. And this right here is our second equation, namely that x cubed plus and no minus, <laughs> so additive inverse of plus, 
3 AB times X is equal to 1933. Let me erase this right here a tiny little bit and let's put this into a nice form. Now there are two ways to go about solving something like this. You could either, for example, subtract both equations from one another, Gaussian elimination, or what you can also do is you can substitute stuff in. And this is exactly what we are gonna do now. I'm gonna multiply this part out at first. So what we're also gonna get is on the first equation by rewriting, we are gonna get that x squared plus abx plus x is gonna be equal to 2022. And abx is what we find up here in this equation. Now we are gonna solve the second equation or the, or the first equation right here, this one for abx. So meaning we are gonna subtract x and x squared on both sides. We are gonna get that abx is the same as 2022 minus x squared minus x. And now we can plug our abx into this equation and then we can start to solve a cubic equation. And this is where the real magic is gonna happen. And this is what I really like about this problem. And this is the only reason why I'm even presenting a problem like this here on this channel, because the solution is quite nice, actually. Now, if you plug this in, what we are gonna get is x to the third power minus three times 20, 22. And the negative signs are gonna turn into positive signs when we, uh, once you multiply everything by the negative three. So three times 2022 plus, and then we are gonna get three times x squared plus three times x is equal to 1933. Now, three times 2022 is 6066. We can add this on both sides, leaving us with a cubic equation, x to the third power plus three times x squared plus three x is equal to 6,066 plus 1,933. So we are gonna get 99 here with a nine here and also six plus one is gonna give us 7,999. And now we need to solve this cubic equation. And in a normal case, it's an absolute hassle to solve something like this if you don't have the cubic formula tucked into your brain cells. But <laughs> here's where the real magic happens. <laughs> Take a look at that. X to the third power plus three X squared plus three X. We get a coefficient of one here. One, three, three. Oh, the only thing that is missing for us to get the cubic formula out once again, just like here, where a is equal to x and b is equal to one. If you plug one into here, we only get this part, three x squared, and if we plug one into our b here, b squared is gonna be one, so three x. The only thing that's missing is plus one to the third power, which is the same as one. So if we were to add a one on both sides, we would end up with a an easy binomial on the left hand side and just 8,000 on the other side. Meaning we are gonna get here x plus one to the third power is equal to 8,000. And this is easy to solve. And this is very magical, at least in my opinion. Now we can take the third root on both sides, leaving us with x plus one is equal to the third root of 8,000. And this is also quite easy to solve the third root of 8,000 8,000 is nothing other than eight times 1,000, obviously. And eight is the same as two cubed and a thousand is 10 cubed. So taking the cube root of all of that, because the cube root is multiplicative um, every time, we are gonna get that this is just two times 10, which is 20. So X plus one is equal to 20, meaning if we subtract one on both sides, we get that X is equal to 19 as our solution. And I think this unfolded very nicely and maybe you got around to getting yourself the solution too. And if you did, please leave some comments there down below how you got the solution out. And if you do enjoy algebra problem, also a bit of calculus and everything in the STEM field, then the content of today's sponsor print might be the perfect fit for you. Now, if you get around to solve a problem like this or similar one in school, 
You might ask yourself, Papa Flemmy, how would you get to such a solution in your head? Well, I do this by practicing and practicing is the key point in learning applied mathematics and also part of abstract mathematics. And for other people, it's just taking a look at the visual side of things, like how you can interpret a function by taking a look at its graph or how you can solve a physics problem by drawing out the problem at hand on a piece of paper and then just find out what the angles are and the like. There are many approaches to learning STEM topics and the vision kind of way is what most people strive for and what most people are most familiar and also comfortable with. And this is where Prein comes in, the platform for you to learn something new on a daily basis in every STEM field you can possibly think of, be it the mathematics that we did today, physics, computer sciences, chemistry. No matter what it is you want to learn today in any kind of science field, Preint is there for you to give you an inspiration and also a little motivation to learn something new on a daily basis. And their course concept is just absolutely awesome. In a very playful manner, you are going to start off with easy exercises and introductions into topics. But over time, those things are going to get gradually harder. It's just like that. It's science, it's mathematics, it's getting harder at some point. But the thing with print is that it's not just getting stupidly hard from one second to another. No, it's a gradual incline and all of the topics that you are going to take a look at are going to be underlined by graphics and visuals, very playful things that you can play around with to get a better understanding of the problem at hand. And you don't need to take my word for it here. You can just try it out for yourself for completely free at that by using my link at the top of the description, print.org slash maths. With it, you are going to get total free access to the whole landscape of Preint for 30 day free trial. And if you think this could turn into a long term relationship between you and Preint, then definitely make sure to make whole use of the link and get 20% off an Nutrient subscription, which is an amazing deal. They have so much content available on their website already and they are adding so much content regularly. You never run out of ideas and new concepts that you can learn. So definitely make sure to check it out and support the channel this way. And this concludes today's small algebra problem. And I hope you enjoy what we have seen today. Also, don't forget to check out NP Cooking. I have a lot of fun with those cooking videos over there, so I would highly appreciate it if you would just check it out and maybe also subscribe if it tickles your toes at the right spot. And that's about it for today. I wish you guys a flammable day. See ya.